Good morning, guys. Today we will discuss on bonsai. I feel my audio is clear. My screen is visible now, right? Yes. Then we will proceed the class. Uh, I think you have been read uh, many other objective books or JRF question papers or SRF or any other uh, competitive exams question bank. Uh, how many questions you expected from the bonsai concepts? Have you seen the frequency of asking the questions from the bonsai concepts? Yes. Yes, Ankita, Bavesh, Deb. Yes, you can answer. Have you, have you seen the questions arise from the bonsai concepts and or any of the related concepts? If you seen, say yes, otherwise no. Not say. No, sir. Okay. With respect to competitive exams. Um, um, mainly with respect to JRF or SRF, uh, the, the questions from the bone side, mainly it will be in the objective type questions. That too, maybe one or two. That too, uh, they will be in direct questions, not that much in-depth questions. Will come. Uh, mainly it deals with the types of bone side or where it is popular or where it is originated or uh, which are the suitable species or which are the special horticultural, fall, horticultural practices followed in the bonsai. Today we will discuss this concept bonsai, all the related concepts of bonsai. Now. What do you mean by bonsai? Bonsai means it's a tree or a, a simply a plant cultivated in a pot or a container which resembles fully grown on a miniature scale. This is very important. It resembles like a fully grown tree, but it is in miniature scale. That's that we termed as bonsai. Then bonsai was first appeared in China. And it's on, on the name they originated at the initial stage was Punsai. Bone means a shallow pan. Pan means container or a pot. Sai means plant. It literally means a tray planting or shallow planting. This is in Japanese. This bonsai was originated in China, but it is popular in Japanese. These this, this are all the uh, very important objective type questions. Originated in China, most popular in Japan. Japan. Then with respect to about the bonsai, what it actually? Actually, bonsai making is 90% of art and only 10% of the horticulture techniques. A successful bonsai is often defined as the horticulture masterpiece originated in China under the Ming dynasty, during the Ming dynasty, originated in China, popular in Japan. A bonsai is not a genetically dwarf plant. These type of statements will you will expect in the reasoning and assertion type of questions. Bonsai is not a genetically dwarf plant and it is not kept small by the cruelty in any other way. So this is also a very important statement. And for the, the most of the bonsai will be in the range of 25 centimeter to one meter height. This is the range of bonsai height. Then further, the physical independent of earth this bonsai with its container and the soil will physically independent from the earth. And uh, what it signifies? It signifies the heaven and earth in one container. This is also important. Heaven and earth in one container. It symbolizes the heaven and earth. Then coming to important bonsai styles. We have many styles in the bonsai. Definitely based on uh, uh, by the practitioners of the uh, special operations who are 
uh, involved in the bonsai making they have intended many guidelines or many uh, uh, styles uh, individual perception enthusiastic who are working there they also given many styles we'll see one by one uh, among the bonsai styles one is formal upright type this is also called as chokan the formal upright type or chokan this is basically the branches are symmetrical or horizontal in nature you observe in this picture the branches are symmetrical in nature this is the formal upright style of bonsai second one is winding or konkam or curved trunk style mohenge style this is you, you here observe the trunk is curved and uh, it resembles like the wind is blowing from this direction so the leaves are curved it resembles like a curved trunk style of bonsai the plant retain is a very natural appearance with the help of a curved nature of trunk the branches get smaller in size towards the top you, you just remember the styles then oblique or leaning trunk style shakan style this is the leaning trunk style one side the branches are positioned horizontally the surface of the roots are clearly visible in the container this is also very important then wind swept style it means uh, the fully the branches grown on one side of the trunk uh, trunk only you, you see uh, if it is in any and uh like it is in severe wind storm the branches of the opposite uh, side will be dried due to dehydration so only one side branches will be retained so this style is called as wind swept if the wind is blown with a full speed the the tree will bend like this naturally this style is called wind swept style then broom style broom style means this is like the normal broom which we are using in our day to day life in the houses to clean the floors it is almost like that the similarity appears with the unturned broom this appears like a broom the branches in the shape of fan these branches then for the cascade style cascade style means grown out over the edge of the container here in cascade style you observe this will resembles like a falls here the cascade style bones are not kept under the ground they are kept under the hide with the help of any other containers it's it resembles like a falling fountain this is called cascade then semi cascade semi cascade means this is also similar to the uh, previous one but here the branches will not droop below its base this is semi cascade style for the multiple trunk style or the clump shaped bonsai here the multiple branches are allowed to grow on a single trunk this will resembles like a, a groove then raft style this is raft style this style creates the effect of fallen trunk if the trunk if the tree is fallen this type of appearance will be seen in the natural forest or any other places for the woodland woodland means here also it is also a fascinating style in one single container a numerous of all individual plants of the same species are laid out in correctly propagated manner here the multiple uh, plants are sown in a single container to show showcase as a woodland this resembles like a, a natural forest then for the a twisted trunk tree the, uh, here the trunk designates the size towards the top gives the appearance of a, a twisted upon itself the trunk is twisted in a natural way then on the rock a piece of rock is placed approximately in a container to grow on the the plant will grow on the rock it will resembles like a 
a rockery a rockery bonsai the plant will grow on the rock it appears it appears like a natural rockery then mamo bonsai or the mini bonsai here uh, it's not grow that much height of normal bonsai it will only grow 8, 8 to 15 cm height this is the mini bonsai then the, we'll discuss the materials required for bonsai making i feel you are listening right sir okay the materials required for making of bonsai what we need a good soil mixture for bonsai must we'll supply it needs of the water mineral oxygen oxygen for the roots to respire and the proper drainage should be should be maintained why to avoid the water logging or rotting of the fine roots and adequate watering should be done and we should apply a sufficient compost in the soil mixture then for the the suitable garden mixture used for the bonsai making is eight parts of loamy soil one part of sand is ideal then we will use the containers for making of bonsai containers should be well drained and it should be harmonized with the appearance of the plant and it should be simple and elegant in appearance the color must be bright and light colors for the black or the flowering trees then for the non flowering plants also we use a duller uh, earthen shape or earthen colored uh, containers the shape of the bonsai may be in rectangle oval square round for the uh, what are the other accessories needed for making bonsai we need stones mosses stones for applying on the media then mosses for the like uh, this is the media for growing of plants then with respect to tools the essential tools are required for the making of bonsai are a pair of pruning clips then handled scissors then wire cutters stick stick of bamboo on the various grades of copper wire this may ask the questions in the objective type or the reasoning assertion types or in the mind the following they may give the pruning clippers is associated with which of which of the terminology they will give some uh, three to four terminologies like that so you need to remember these points also then for the with respect to compost the general compost mixture should contains two parts of leaf mold and one part of sand and one part of soil this is for this is an ideal for bonsai formation then with respect to propagation where where should we uh, where should we start the bonsai making from seeds or from the vegetative means if we follow the seeds it takes so long time so we will go for the vegetative means generally it is highly practiced and highly commonly used this is also one of the uh, common statement followed in the reasoning and assertion type of questions here the mature shoots layered or grafted one or budded one are used in the bonsai making if we select the seedling originated or local origin or countryside seedlings the seedlings of mature trees of local origins are selected the collection of these seedlings the soil from the plant should be loosened using the trowel or any other instruments to uplift the plant without injuring the tap root then we should cover the seedling with a moist sphagnum moss then uh, which are all the suitable plant species that that we need to select for the bonsai making means the plant should be very hardy and trunk should be develop in a natural appearance if we grown under a pot or if we if we try to uh, reduce the size also it will not it should grow naturally the trunk should grow naturally and the 
the branches should grow in a natural but more aesthetic forms the characteristics of the plant should be suitable for the bonsai these are the characters and it should harmonize with the shape of the containers and it should show seasonal variants like flowering or uh, leaf color change or the fruit development like that it should it should show then further the tree species or the plant species suitable for bonsai making like bombax brassia then butia seba then ficus species are very suitable then jacaranda also then pomegranate these are the fruit crops with respect to shrubs we will use hibiscus hemelia jatropha this is also very commonly used you need to remember all these commonly used species then bougainvillea is also used then scuffler also used with respect to climber we generally use hiptage in succulents we will use adenium adenium is also called as desert rose it is a solen bulbous plant then in food crops we will use pomegranate tamarind apple citrus usually we select the small leafed fruit crops and coniferous also we select with respect to environmental condition while we making the bonsai what should be the environmental conditions they want ask this much in depth questions for your information we will discuss now the temperature should be in the range of 20 to 24 degrees celsius and the ideal humidity should be 40 to 50 percent and the light will be we should not keep in the you know, fully sunshine we should keep in the uh, near the window or in the shaded areas and the light requirement is also very necessary then location for displaying the bonsai where, where should be kept traditionally the hardy bonsai are kept outdoor not in a fully sunshine but we will keep in outdoor but the bonsai should not expose to full sun during the hot day then the bonsai bonsai will get full sun for the part of whole day we should keep in the morning or evening hours then the location of displaying the bonsai you can keep in the indoor or in the balcony side like that you can place then potting time early in the growing season we should go for the potting then some of the we will discuss special horticultural practices followed in bonsai making pruning usually it is the essential operation followed in the bonsai it is a restrict it is used for the restricting the growth of the plant then retains the shape of bonsai hence pruning is done then when to prune what is the time before we going for the repotting we should prune then uh, technique technique of pruning the branch which grow on the lower part of the plant or to the four must be cut off lower branches we usually prune off then we will also follow the trimming technique then leaf trimming is also done then wiring this is a very important horticulture practice followed in bonsai making to get the desirable shape here we use copper or aluminum wire then watering watering is very essential for any other crops then repotting when should we go for repotting you generally we go for the repotting when the plant is awakened after the dormancy it should not be in active growing season then only we should go for the repotting the steps followed for the repotting you know first we should clean the container then we should look after the drainage holes then if we go for trimming or uh, pruning the root pruning we should go for that then we should uh, ensure the root ball and inner surface of the plants in a container then we should tie the roots from the downside for the support 
if you use for the if you use the shallow containers then only we will try the uh, roots from the inside the container then we will add the soil mixture and water then uh, manuring manuring means application of fertilizer we will use the powder form or liquid form we use both the form and we will also use mainly organic manures like leaf mold cakes then this will com complete the uh, bonsai and its styles these are all the important points should be remembered with respect to jrfa sr type of examinations any doubt in these concepts no sir for the no, we'll, yeah for the we will discuss some of the important uh, objectives with respect to your competitive exams garden adornments these are also some of the important expected questions in your examinations garden adornment means what any material which can be used in the garden other than the existing one existing one means uh, like annuals biennials trees species other than this any material which are used in the garden are called as garden adornments generally what we use in the garden adornments if you visit any other gardens you will find garden seeds gar ornamental tubs urns vases bird baths sundial floral clocks japanese lanterns ornamental stones fountains statues plant stands garden lights post pillars hanging baskets window boxes these are all the generally used adornments in the garden we will discuss one by one first we will discuss the floral cloth floral cloth means here we will use the different flowering species in a bed this is like you consider this is like a bed here the each flower it has a specific time of biological clock it will it will only open its flowers when it is in specific time like if you observe the cat cat mint it will only open its flower during the 6 to 7 am then if you observe the hawkweed it will only uh, uh, flowers during the 7 to 8 am like this we will uh, select the species of flowering plants and we will bed in a uh, garden so these flower movements opening and closing will locates or it will indicates the time in the garden this is a scientific selection of plant species to create a floral clock this floral clock we observe in the lalbar garden and rashtrapati garden these are the two important places where the floral clock clock is located you need to remember that sundial means this is a sundial based on this shadow of this uh, piece will in the ancient civilization like uh, greeks romans egyptians they determine the time and the season so nowadays also we use this in the garden for the fancy purpose then garden sundial this garden sundial this also exactly works as a sundial the purpose is also same to to indicate the timing or the seasonality in the garden then bird bath bird bath means it is a uh, it is a container made up of concrete or any other pillar or column if, if you consider uh, it will be containing a, a shallow waste the water is filled in it and usually the birds will come and drink the water and they will bath this will creates the mobility in the garden But that's why in every garden the bird bath is common then the bird baths are kept in the corner of the gardens this is also important point because if you kept in the uh, road side the birds won't come and uh, peacefully drink the water because the disturbance will be more so if you attract more birds the bird bath should be kept in the corner of the gardens so the visitor can enjoy the birds view from the distance then garden seats garden seats means these are all the 
seeds used in the garden to rest under the trees or, the, or in the shadow, in shadow. Then paths and roads. We'll use different types of paths like gravel paths, brick paths, then uh, stone, crazy paving, grass paths. These are all the common elements. Then ornamental urns or tubs or vases. These are all the ornamental vases. Then Japanese lantern. This is also very uh, creative carved stone. Uh, this is very decorative in the garden. This is uh, usually kept all along the roadside. Then ornamental stones are the pillars. If you observe in Ramadi film city or any other gardens, you will find these ornamental pillars. Then fountain. Fountain is also very commonly uh, garden ornamental features nowadays. Usually for these fountains, the colored lights will be provided during the night. Then statues. These are also very common features nowadays in the garden. Then sculptures. These are all used, used to create the uniqueness or the attractive point or the focal point in the gardens. The creative objects are used here. The ornamental arms. These are also mainly used in the children's gardens. Then wall masks. These are also generally used. These are all used in the uh, houses also. Then genomes. Genomes means this is mainly the this like funny or uh, it will make the a sense of fun in the garden. These are all the uh, mythical creatures, not actually exist. These are all like uh, if you consider the uh, animated movies like that. These are all. Then plant stands. These are all the different garden, garden adornments. Uh, then we will see some of the pictures. These are all the flower crop, the flower plants. This is very um, huge scientific evidence where we effectively take the plant species. These are all the flower gardens. It actually, here the, this clock will actually run all along the flower beds. In Karnataka, in Bangalore, we have a love box. In, in Delhi, a Trashtapati garden. This is sundial. These are the garden sundials. This is bird bath. These are all the garden seeds. This is the home garden. So they kept the chairs. If you visit the public gardens, they will keep the a concrete seeds. These are the garden seeds. Then pots and roads. These are concrete, concrete pots. These are stone pots. Here you observe the turf, turf with a combination of stone pots. These are the ornamental arms, tubs, vases. This is Japanese lantern. These are the different styles of Japanese lanterns. Nowadays, these are uh, very commonly used in the gardens. These are the ornamental pillars or stones. If you if you gone for the rock garden 
in okay, Chandigarh, we will find it. And this uh, fountain is also very common. Musical fountains. These are the different statues. Usually they will keep their uh, local leaders or uh, national leaders like Mahatma Gandhi or any other freedom fighters like that or any other god, goddesses, they will keep. These are all the inspirational uh, personalities. They will keep the statues. With respect to sculptures, this, the more aesthetic or attractive sculptures will be used. These are all the ornamental decoratives. These are all flower masks. And these are all genomes. Means the funny aesthetic sculptures. Then these are the plant stands. Bridges also the government, government, garden ornaments. Okay, this completes the garden ornaments. Sometimes you will expect the questions from the garden ornaments. They will give you which among the following is a garden adornment. They will give the garden components, garden adornments, and many other things. You have to wisely choose the garden adornments. Okay. Then any other uh, doubts, queries, or any other points to add for this discussion? Free to. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. If it is the case, then we'll close the uh, today's session. Next class, we'll discuss another important concept. Okay. If. Okay, no, fine. Okay, I am closing the session.